My name's Jessica Robertson for ABD News. Now, I appear to be on any average Australian suburban street, but in fact, I'm outside the headquarters of an alleged cult. We are about to take you exclusively into that property now. Come with me. Did you get the, did you get the signage? Mitch, did you get the signage? There's this great warning sign over here. It looks really ominous. Can you get some of this? Trust me, that's gonna be a cracker in post. So here we are. We're at the front doors of the Colt compound. This looks like, deceptively, like an average physiotherapy clinic or the like. We know better. We believe there are people locked inside here, possibly being brainwashed into getting complementary therapies, including the controversial esoteric breast massage. Mitch, I thought I told you to lock the door from the inside, you fucking idiot. Do your job. Rolling. So we are out the back of the cult headquarters where we have been tipped off that Serge Menhayen will be arriving to work very soon and we are going to... Hello. How are you going? Mum, Mum, what are you doing here? Well, this is where I've told you I come. I come here to have my back massage. It's wonderful. I've been telling you about it. You should try it. Look, look, Mum, I'm working. Can you just, can you just, sorry, Mum. Oh, look, can we talk later? I'll give you a call. Oh, all right, darling, we'll talk later. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, bye, Mum. So here we are. He has arrived. Serge Benhain has arrived. Serge Benhain has arrived at the clinic. We are going to ask him some very pointed questions. Here he is. Here he is, people. Serge Menhain, my name is Jessica Robertson. I'm from ABD News. We have some questions for you. Answer the questions. What exactly are the questions you have? Answer, answer the questions. Is this a way that you're asking for an interview? Because if you like, we can have an interview later on in the day, but I've got a I've got clients coming from interstate and international to see me this morning, so I won't be able to talk to you I this I have morning. a question for you. I have a question. It has been reported that after women receive Universal Medicine's esoteric breast massage modality, they start to require that their husbands <laughs> ask permission for them to touch their breasts. This has been reported in the major broad, broad sheets. I'll have you know the broad sheets. Broad? Sheets. Are you ruining men's sex lives? What is this? Are you familiar with the concept of consent, Mrs. Robertson? Uh, these are married men, Mr. Van Hayen. I think they have a right to grab the women's breasts. The women that they married, they can just, they should just. Non consensual is non consensual whether you're married to someone or not. Look, we, look we, have some, we have some more questions that we will ask you later. Yep, totally fine. Uh, Your, my lunch break's between 1 and 2. Your crew can come at 12 o'clock, set up, and I'll be ready to answer any questions you have between 1 and 2. Great. Thank that you. would be great. I need to see my next We will be asking you some questions the then. So thank you, and see you later. He's walking away. He didn't answer the question. We will get you an exclusive interview. He has agreed to talk to us later on, and we are going to go into depth about this esoteric breast massage modality. All right, Mitch, we need to fill this up a bit. We need to get some interviews with some women. Maybe we can, we can get them when they're coming from their cars outside of the clinic. Can we, can we take some grabs of, of women outside of the cars? That would be great. Okay, let's do that. Jessica, you've got to get interviews with the women who've had these bloody phony breast massages. Have you got interviews? Yeah, look, Jenna, we tried. Well, no one... No one's going to talk to Mitch. What about online? The fucking online's full of people complaining. There's got to be some crackpot out there that's had some bloody bad experience with it. Yeah, look, I mean, there's hundreds of women that are talking about it online. But they're all freaking giving it glowing reviews. Look, we'll keep digging, okay? We'll, 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 we'll find something.
Welcome to the ABD Report. My name is Jessica Robertson and I'm talking to Serge Ben Hayen, an alleged cult leader who practices some very controversial modalities, including something called the esoteric breast massage. Serge Ben Hayen, esoteric breast massage, breasts, massage, are you doing it? Who are you doing it to? What women's breasts have you massaged? Well, firstly, just to set the record straight, as though we haven't set it straight many, many, many times since the media started reporting on this in 2012. The esoteric breast massage has never been practiced by a man, myself included. You mean that I can't come to your clinic and get a man to massage my breasts? Absolutely not, not at my clinic. Why? Why not? Why can't a man massage my breasts? I mean, there's a preponderance of good-looking men around here. You're saying that none of them will massage my breasts? Absolutely not. If they would, they wouldn't be practitioners at Universal Medicine. The esoteric breast massage is a very, very sensitive and delicate modality. It specifically came through and is founded to be practiced for women, by women. Well. That could get a bit murky. What if the practitioner is a lesbian? Are you really wanting to ask that question, Jessica? It comes across a little bit homophobic to an outside viewer. Just, we'll re-roll that. So if men can't train in the esoteric breast massage, don't you think that's reverse discrimination? You do realise, Serge Ben Hayen, that Breast massage, not new to universal medicine. It's actually quite popular at massage schools across the country. It's used for lymphatic drainage and various health modalities. It's not new to you. You didn't make this up, Mr. Ben Hayen. Breast massage is practiced across the country. And guess what? Men are allowed to do it too. If those schools and institutions would like to practice the breast massage that way, I'm not going to critique them, but it's certainly not the way that I would operate on such a sensitive modality, and I never will. Okay, so coming back to the popularity of breast massage generally, this is a very often used modality across many health professions, and it's actually quite mainstream. So what makes your esoteric breast massage so controversial? That's a really good question, but it's actually one that needs to be asked to the media. Are you accusing the media? Are you, and you know you're talking to the ABD right now. We get our facts straight. Are you accusing us of using salacious headlines and breast exposés and, and boobs to sell papers? We're the ABD. With all due respect, Jessica, within the last two weeks, the ABD ran a news story that was completely unrelated to the esoteric breast massage and then boom, third paragraph down, esoteric breast massage. You tell me. I think that the esoteric breast massage is of interest to our readers and especially our male readers. We do have a very diverse demographic of breast loving men and women. Would you call that breast loving? Or would you call it objectification? Look, you're not talking to the page three son here, you're talking to the ABD. You've made the modality. You called it the esoteric breast massage. You used a weird word at the start. What do you expect? It should, you know, you know esoteric, you know, that's a word that sounds mysterious. Mystery breast massage. You don't think that that's gonna make the headlines? You know, I mean, what, who, who are we to let that go when we can make a headline out of it. Like, don't you think that's a bit of a tease to call your modality that and then expect the media not to pick it up? Well, firstly, if you're looking at the word esoteric, then the media might need to do their research back further than a couple of days or a couple of years or 50 years. The word esoteric is based on the Greek word esoterikos, which means within or from within. So what the esoteric breast massage is doing is it supports women to connect to that beautiful place within inside themselves 
and allow that permission to come out. Allow the permission to love and cherish their body from the inside out. Cherish their body. Yes, absolutely. Cherish their breasts. Yes, absolutely. It's sorely needed in the world. No, no, but I'm sorry. But who are you to tell women how to treat their breasts? A lot of women are currently looking into augmentation, into breast lifts. You know, they've got very hard decisions that, that are imminent. Do they go for a balloon boob look? Do they go for a more teardrop, more subtle augmentation? And here you are talking about cherishing your breasts, whatever shape and size, deeply nurturing yourself. Don't you think that this is a, a, a little bit confusing and confronting for women that are facing surgery? They're, like, it's proper surgery to get your breast done. Did you, did you think of that? This is a very challenging time for those women. I agree. And it's testimony to why the esoteric breast massage is needed. Uh, no, you're a man. And um, you can't talk about breasts. You don't have them. You can't talk about them. Quite frankly, Jessica, I'm a man who is seeing a lot of women through his clinic and was seeing the need that women have to connect and truly cherish and nurture their entire body, their breasts included. The breasts are often used to, as an objectification or sexual or just for feeding, but the woman needed to reclaim that part of her body so she could love the whole of her body. Sure, it's going to be confronting Sorry. for women no. who have self-worth no. issues, no. No. but that's why the support is needed. Sorry, no. Um, we can't talk, you can't talk about this, it, you're a man. You're a man. That's... Moving right along. Byron Bay is currently having a Taste of Tantra festival with such things as meditative spanking as a form of homoeroticism or just general eroticism. I'm going to go again because again I sounded like a homophobe. Mitch, could you just cut that bit out? Byron Bay is currently running a sexpo festival. Now, where is your esoteric breast massage among those modalities? Did it even get a spot alongside such coveted modalities as tantra spanking and spanking for meditation and erotic purposes. If you, if you really think you're leading the charge with this modality, don't you think you would have got a spot at Taste of Tantra? There's no way that our modality would ever even enter the sphere of a tantra festival. There's absolutely nothing sexual about the esoteric breast massage. And quite frankly, the fact that it's been sexualized reflects more on the people sexualizing it than the sacredness of this modality itself. Well, what about the claims that you've made that esoteric breast massage can cure cancer? Absolutely not. To set the record straight for the viewers out there, even though we've been setting the record straight since 2012, Universal Medicine have never claimed to cure cancer or any other illness with the Brezoteric breast massage or any other of our modalities. But you've got all these people that are saying that there's thousands, there's like heaps of people blogging about it, that they have found a lot of support with endometriosis, lots of different ailments, lots of different diseases after going to universal medicine. These are false claims. They're false people. They're false blogs. What do you say to that? In our society, there is not enough space, there's not enough credence given to anecdotal evidence. We're not claiming to have cured anything. These are people that have gone to see our treatments in combination with medical, conventional medical treatments and are enjoying far greater health and vitality as a result. There's not enough weight given to anecdotal evidence in our world. It's very, very valid. But people are spending a lot of money in this. This sounds a bit like hoobie jooby wooby jooby wooby. Can you define a lot of money, Jessica? Uh, I believe a parliamentary inquiry was told by Professor Don Pryor that a woman had spent $30,000 on treatments at your clinic. 
with no improvement in her health. What do you say to that? I would say to that claim, and I've heard this a lot in the media, that I have no record in our meticulously kept books of any such expense of $30,000, $35,000 from a particular client. Do you understand how much treatments that is? At $80 maximum for one of our treatments, that is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of treatments. We've it got the facts. Out. We've got the facts, Mr. Benhan. It was put to a parliamentary inquiry. It's on the record, parliamentary record. Professor Don Pryor, can you get the stats for me? Gina, can, can you get the stats? Mitch, can you look it up as well? Can you just hurry? I need those facts. We have the facts. It was in the press. Sixty bucks on a massage. She just spent sixty bucks on one massage. She's telling the truth. You have to back off. For fuck's sake. Maybe we, maybe you should go and get some evidence-based medicine. Uh, evidence-based, evidence-based science to back up these so-called anecdotal claims. So what would happen if Universal Medicine students? did go out and do the research. What would the media's response be to that? Uh, cult researchers don't count. If they do, if they uh, attend your workshops, that's a conflict of interest. What do you say to that? Okay, so if a physiotherapist did research study on physiotherapy, is that a conflict of interest? Who's going to do the research studies if it's not the practitioners practicing the modalities? No. you. If you can't just do research if you're part of universal medicine, because if you're part of universal medicine, you're part of a cult. Cult, there. Conflict of interest, culty. That's a conflict of interest. Are you aware, Jessica? You seem like you're a well-read person. Are you aware that in religious academic circles, the word cult is no longer used because there's actually no meaning for the word. In fact, it's just been a term, a derogatory term touted by other groups that want to demonise a group. So if you can provide me a definition of cult and then say why these researchers at all had any conflict of interest in the studies that they were producing, then go for it. Well, some of them were working on a website that was... Do we have any facts on... Can, 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 so, Mitch, can you get me a definition of the word cult? I frickin' asked you to do this this morning. Just a second, Mr. Ben Hearn. A popular movie, a cult hit, for frick's sake, Mitch. Look up Waco or something, would you? Kool-Aid. Something to do with murder. It's associated with murder. Cult is associated with murder. Mr Van Hayen, what do you say about that? I would say that that's criminal activity. The groups you've mentioned, the Jim Jones, these are criminal groups. Are you accusing us of something? I mean, I know that bloggers have said that you're a criminal. And they blog, and then that that was on the internet. So that that was um, through social media. And that was one of our primary sources. So maybe there is some criminality here. Just putting it on the table, not accusing, just laying it on the table. Did you money launder? Do you take cash at your workshops? We've been investigated by over 20 government agencies by vexatious complainants that have, quite frankly, clocked up the taxpayer dollars for over a million dollars at least combined. And they've found nothing, absolutely nothing. If any of these claims had any skerrick of truth about them, don't you think that these government agencies or the police 
would have done something about it by now. Is the media interested in the truth? Or is it just interested in selling papers? Is it just interested in getting the, more viewers? Serge Benhain, we're the ABD. We are the truth. Just answer the question. Just answer the questions. What exactly just question? Just answer the question. So answer what, what question exactly are you asking? Me? Answer the question. You're a cult leader. Deny it. Just try. You're a cult leader. You're a cult leader. You can say that as many times as you like, it doesn't make it the fact. And you still cannot prove what a cult leader is or what it means. And how does that differ from these American hand movements, idol? These how hand does... movements, this is part of your cult ways. This is, what are you, the Messiah? Stop trying to cover your tracks and evade what I am asking. You are talking rhetoric. You are talking psychobabble. You are not making any sense. This is very culty, the whole thing. Answer the question straight. Are you a cult leader? Jessica, Answer it. Jessica, have you looked outside? Have you seen how unwell we are going as a humanity? Healthcare systems around the world are going to become bankrupt within the next 20 years because the way we are living is killing ourselves. And so if the mainstream was what had the answers. Why are we getting so unwell? So there you go. You're saying you're, you're, you're in the business of healthcare. No, answer the question. People are wasting money on your treatments. Answer it. It's true. Say it. Say it and admit it. The value that the clients get from universal medicine treatments is beyond anything that you can imagine. Answer the questions. As a result of the treatments and the inspiring lifestyle choices, people have given up alcohol, given up when spending immense amount of money on drugs and alcohol. Nobody wants to know about this. People like their alcohol. Dry July is enough of a hell for all of us. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Go away. Answer the questions. You're not. You're just not. As you can see, Jessica, I've answered your questions at length. I feel that I've given you enough of my time now and you haven't been wanting to listen. So I've got a very busy clinic to run and I've got my next client within a couple of minutes. So thank you. Are, you, you. are you walking from this interview, Mr. Ben Hayen? You're walking, not answering any of our questions. What is this? No much. He just, he just sounded so fucking reasonable. What was I supposed to do? I'll tell you what, you better save it. It's your fucking job on the line. Look, look, Gina, I've, I've got it. Don't worry, I've got it covered. I've got it covered. Mitch, are you ready? Can we roll again? Can, can we roll again? You sure? Yes. Yep, yeah, I've got it, I've got it. You better have it. My name's Jessica Robertson for ABD News. Now I appear to be on any average Australian suburban street, but in fact, I'm outside the headquarters of an alleged cult. We are about to take you exclusively into that property now. Come with me. We are at the front doors of the cult compound, the headquarters of Universal Medicine. Now, these doors appear to be sealed shut. They are locked. We do believe there are people that are being forced to have complementary healing treatments inside, possibly being brainwashed. We're gonna give you the inside grab. We will get inside this building. So we are now out the back of the cult headquarters and we have the tip off that Serge Ben Hayen will be arriving at the clinic very shortly. In fact, he is here right now and we are going to ask him some very pointed questions. Serge Van Hayen, my name is Jessica Robertson. I'm from ABD News. We have some questions for you. It has been reported that after women receive Universal Medicine's esoteric breast massage modality, they start to require that their husbands ask permission 
for them to touch their breasts. Are you ruining men's sex lives? What is this? Answer the questions. Answer the questions. He's walking away. He didn't answer the question. We will get you an exclusive interview and we are going to go into depth about this esoteric breast massage modality. Serge Ben Hayen, esoteric breast massage, breasts, massage, are you doing it? Who are you doing it to? What women's breasts have you massaged? Are you really wanting to ask that question, Jessica? Well, what about the claims that you've made that esoteric breast massage can cure cancer? It's very, very valid. Uh, I believe a parliamentary inquiry was told by Professor Don Pryor that a woman had spent $30,000 on treatments at your clinic with no improvement in her health. What do you say to that? Are you accusing us of something? People are wasting money on your treatments. Answer it. Can you define a lot of money, Jessica? Stop trying to cover your tracks and evade what I am asking. Did you money launder? Do you take cash at your workshops? Just answer the question. Just answer the questions. The value that the clients get from universal medicine treatments is beyond anything that you can imagine. What are you, the messiah? Answer the questions. You're a cult leader. Deny it. Just try. Thank you. Are, you, are you walking from this interview, Mr. Ben Hayen? You're walking, not answering any of our questions. What is this? I'm Jessica Robertson. I've just spoken to Serge Ben Hayen. Serge Ben Hayen has just walked. We've asked him the curly questions. We have asked him the hard questions. Does he do esoteric breast massage? We'll never know. He didn't answer. Does esoteric breast massage cure cancer according to him? We won't know. He didn't answer. He evaded our questions on every front. This is one slippery, alleged cult leader. But we will not stop here. We will have more developments for you as this story unfolds. We will continue to investigate at the deep level of investigation that the ABD is renowned for. We will have more on this story. Good night. What do you reckon? We'll just cut him out. Perfect. Perfect. Done.